guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to show you how I make envelope stickers with my Cricut machine there's just so many different types of stickers you can make and it's so fun and very easy to make so I just want to show you how I do that today I am making some stickers for a friend so that she can put these on her envelopes that she sends out so I am I'm going to show you the SVG that I use for this. I'm going to click on Upload and Upload Image, Browse, and I will put the link down below for this SVG. It is very pretty and it's free to use. And let's see if I can find it here. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I get rid of all of this wording here. So I'm going to select complex and continue. And then I am going to zoom out, makes it easier for me to look at the whole image. And then I am just going to erase these sides here. And my computer goes very slow at this part. So for some reason, just this part, my computer likes to go slow. So I'm just going to select on all of these here. And I might just uh, zoom this up for you guys. I like to hit preview so that I can see and make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I'm going to save this as a print thin cut. I will hit save. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I want a chalkboard for the background. And I will put the SVG that I found for this also in the description box, but I already have this one uploaded. I have the other one uploaded too, but I just wanted to show you how I did it. But this one's very easy, so I'm just going to select. So instead of going through the upload process, I am just going to select this, and then I will select the other one, and then I will click Insert Image. Okay, I have these uploaded. I'm going to make the flower a lot smaller. Let's do four inches for now. And then I am going to make this backdrop bigger. I wanted a chalkboard for the background of these stickers. So I'm going to make it quite a, quite a bit bigger. And then I want to make this into a circle to put behind this image. So I am going to select shapes and find a circle. And then I'm going to put this in front of here. I'm just going to make it bigger here. Okay, and then I am going to select both of the oh I'm going to select both of these here and I am going to slice. And when I slice it, I'm going to delete this. I want this part that I sliced. I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to delete this part. So now I have the backdrop. I want this to be in front, so I'm going to hit right click and hit move to front and I think it looks so pretty behind the black chalkboard backdrop. It looks very, very pretty. So I'm just going to make this fit right inside here. Okay, so that looks good. And then I am going to do the letter A. Um, so I'm just going to go to text, type in A, and I am using the monogram KK font. So I'm going to search that font. I'll select that. And then I'm going to put that here and I want to find a pink color that kind of matches it. So I am going to go over to my colors here and try to find a pink one that I like to make it kind of match a little bit more.
I like that color. Now I am going to select all of this and flatten it. That puts it all together for it to print off as a print and cut. You always want to use the flatten when you do a print and cut. And I love how this looks. I think it looks so pretty. I am going to make it one and a half inches for the stickers. So I'll just type in 1.5 and hit enter. And then I am going to make, I have an eight and a half by 11 inch sticker paper. So I am going to make 20 total stickers on one page. So I am going to right click and hit duplicate. And then I'm going to select both of these and right click and hit duplicate. And then I'm just going to line these up here and I'm going to right click or I'm going to select I'm going to select all four of these and I'm going to select align to bottom so I'm going to select all four of these and select align to bottom and then I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and I'm going to do this for five rows to make 20 stickers. Okay, I have all of my stickers here. Now the next thing I want to do is select all of these and select attach and this will make it lined up just how I have it on my map when I go to make it. Okay, so I'll click make it. This is what it looks like. These are our registration marks and that's how the Cricut knows where to cut the circles. So I am going to go to continue, send to printer. I have my Epson printer selected and I turn the bleed off. I found that it makes my images a little bit more blurry. Then I use my custom dial to select my material. I choose the washi tape setting. This will prevent it from cutting all the way through the paper and my stickers will stay on the paper.